brown boy. Oh, videos filled with bravado, power, lyrics all about carrying guns. I'm taking shots at your head, but I can go pro, baby. South Asian gangster rap is smashing the South Asian music scene right now, and many young Indo-Canadians are listening to it. But parents like Simran Walia say the influence it's having is alarming. Music is something that teenagers connect with instantly. And if this is the kind of music that's going out there with a video that explicitly shows how to think, how to act, then it is very uh, disturbing. Most of the artists producing this music are Canadian. Some of them even proudly showing off the fact. But none of them are gangsters in real life. Red FM DJ Nick Chowlia says it's all fake. It's wanna be a gangster. We've even heard conversations on, on social media about that half of these artists don't even hold a gun until the video shoot. Born in the US in the 1980s, gangster rap was the way artists like NWA expressed their anger towards white police officers and how they were being treated. So are these artists feeling the same way? Do they come from that cultural hip hop background? No, it's now I think more of, you know, he's singing those kind of songs, they're selling, let me try. While the singers show off their guns in the name of entertainment, the realities of gang life clear to see in the Lower Mainland. 18-year-old Sachdeep Singh Doot found dead in the trunk of a car only a couple of weeks ago. Now, Local DJ Lady B says even though the music isn't helping, there is more to what's going on, but no one can put their finger on it. This music has been played all over the world, and yet it's Surrey that has the gang problem. And I think that that's the question we need to be asking, is even if the music is influencing in some respects, What's the real issue? Because it can't be the music alone. The police have produced their own set of videos and say theirs show the real face of gang life. But who a teenager listens to is a challenge. Our job is not to give up. Our job is to keep pushing our message out, you know, to show them the realities of gang life. And for those who feel the South Asian community is being unfairly stereotyped, the facts, according to police, are clear. Almost one third of all targeted deaths related to gang violence in BC are South Asian. There is an overrepresentation of uh, South Asian kids in gangs, no doubt about that. The most popular artist right now, Sidhu Musiala, performing in Surrey this Friday. Sonia Diol, Global News.